Earth, fourth planet from the sun, only planet in the solar system capable of supporting sentient life, home to six billion human beings. Well, it was. Megatron was able to control the powerful energies residing within the Allspark. Within minutes, we were outnumbered. Several vehicles within a mile radius of the shockwave were brought to life. The Autobots and I were lucky to escape, but we were separated. Prime didn't make it. Megatron made sure of that. More Decepticons joined Megatron on Earth. Three million died in the first onslaught. Another seven million within the week. The military responded immediately, but were crushed mercilessly. Washington, London, Paris, Shanghai, all fell. Humanity was forced underground, and Optimus was kept as a trophy in Megatron's new base. Surrender was never an option. But Megatron never found the Autobots. Ironhide, Longarm, Sideswipe, and Jolt all escaped. Where they went, I don't know. But wherever they are, I know they are planning for something to do. But for now, I'm going solo. Hunting lone Decepticons across the west coast. Megatron doesn't know it yet. But there's more to humanity than meets the eye. Swipe? You took your time. Sorry about that. Got a bit busy. You're not the only freelancer in America. I've got a transmission from Ironhide. Says he set up a base over in South Africa. Radioed back. He's sending a plane over for pickup. Find Sam. Gone hunting. Welcome back, Sam. I trust you had a pleasant flight. Let's get you up to speed. Jolt! I missed you, man. Missed it too, Sam. Welcome back. Prime Minister, please listen. We're doing the best we can. And no, you don't understand. Damn! You'd think they'd actually fight back rather than try to negotiate. As much as I try to dig this planet, some people here are just stupid. First the French, now the Italians. Sam, Sideswipe, meet Jazz, head of Cybertronian Special Operations. Nice to meet you, little guy. Jules told me a lot about you. I hope you're a man of your actions rather than words. I find 
fine actions speak louder than words, Jazz. Hoo-hoo! I like this fella. Mr. Witwicky, General Frank Cullen, head of Nest. The pleasure's all mine. Nest? Non-Biological Extraterrestrial Species Treaty. General, give me the lowdown. Alright, gentlemen, gather round. From what we've gathered, the Decepticons control the entirety of North America, Australia, and large areas of Asia and Europe. They established a base on what was London. We believe Prime is being held there. A spec op squad of Jazz, Sam, and Jolt here will drop in and attempt to retrieve Prime from captivity. Other Autobots are en route and will rendezvous with a strike team which will assault the fortress. Why do you need me? We believe a human member will bring some subtlety and have some use. We also understand you are good friends with Jolt here. Are you saying I can't be subtle just because I'm a ten foot tall robot? Jazz, I barely heard your protoform land. So can it? Well? for it. I'll do it. I owe it to Optimus. What are we gonna do, Starscream? Target practice, dear Thundercracker. Just target practice. Casualty report. Several soldiers dead. Some vehicles lost as well. We're lucky. Jolt, Jazz, Sam. The mission is a go. Get to the stratosphere. Double time. Long arm. Sideswipe. Let's roll. Thundercracker, report. The Autobots are in disarray. Judging from the chaos my brother and I sowed, we'll make a move within the next solar cycle. We are unable to determine what they're planning to do, though. They would come for him. I am sure of it. With respect, Lord Megatron, why are we still here on this wretched planet? We have what we came for. Why don't we return to Cybertron? The Autobots are still here. They cannot be allowed to survive. Not one. The Nemesis is capable of annihilating an entire city. Why don't we destroy them with our space-born asset? Where's the fun in that? Why destroy them from above, far away, when you can be there to win? Is their depths at your hands. The thrill of battle, Starscream. Don't you feel it? Fear, terror, destruction. Or are you not a master of these things? Battle? We haven't had a decent battle for months. And that was when you gained the Allspark. Since then, this hasn't been a war. It's been a simple matter of extermination. How much longer is this going to last, Megatron? I am your commander, Starscream. And I decide what must be done. And you will do as I command, or face the consequences. Of course, Lord Megatron. Do you doubt his judgment, Starscream? What do you think? He underestimates the Autobots too much, Thundercracker. It'll be his downfall if he isn't careful. <sighs> He's lost his way. There's nothing to gain from this planet. Wasn't his original intention control over the Allspark? These pathetic organic life forms didn't stand a chance. Have you seen the city recently? We reduced it to lifeless ruins within decacycles! What are you gonna do then? 
Hostile takeover? Assassination? Nothing so overdramatic. And anyway, that uncharismatic fool, Soundwave, is incredibly loyal to them, as well as the moron Lugnut. They'd prove difficult to convince. We shall let fate decide the outcome of this war. But either way, Megatron is not leaving it.